What's happening? I'll tell you exactly what's happening. Welcome back to another video. I know when I do these stock things, I normally say, excuse a mess, boxes everywhere. Excuse a mess for me today. I've literally been out in the garden the last five and a half hours doing stuff. It's like 24, 25 degrees. I'm sweating. I can't wait to have a shower. But nonetheless, I thought I'd show you a little bit about what's going on here. And this is this week's stock. All of this is going to be on eBay later on today. So the time you watch this video tomorrow, good morning. Whenever you are watching it, all this stuff would have dropped. So it's all going to be for sale. Be quick, because there's some robots in here. And the last couple of weeks, months, robots have just gone instantly. So there's some incredible ones here as well. Especially those two over there. So I'm going to start you off in the corner. Got some space guns. Got some cool, you know, atomic era stuff. Just look at these. You know, three of those I'm going to put together as a job lot. So that's going to be a bit fun for someone. Got a nice bit of spot on. People keep asking for spot on. I know I've got a load there somewhere. It's just as of what I do dig out of the stores. So that's lovely. Got the little dinky as well. Got the Triumph. Of course, you can get this in the pale blue or the pink. That's quite clean in all fairness. It's not too bad for a loose model. Not too bad at all. Bit of Triumph Minic. Don't forget, there's a lot of Minic already on the store, both boxed and loose. But that's not bad at all. That's quite clean. I've tested it as well, and it works really, really well, which is nice. Ambulance, no stretcher though, no stretcher. And we got this lovely Indian tin. I love that, you know, it's an old tin. It's just something cool, something I've already held onto for a little while. Not a big money, was it? 10, 15 quid? But it's cool. And then, here we go. Betal Toys. Now, years ago, I put this on here so I knew exactly what it was when I did come around to doing it. Made in England, it's fully working, runs really, really well. Key as well. So I'll take that off when I put it on eBay, but just for people to know. And like everything, I've got loads of old shop stock stuff. So these are SO garage signs. I'm going to sell them individual because, you know, it's a set each side. Um, you know, not big money. We're going to get a 10 per set, something like that. They're absolutely pristine. You know, someone's got the garage missing the signs. There you go, Bob's your uncle. You know what I'm saying? We've got some Lesney, loose Thorncroft Mighty Anta. No tank. But nonetheless, condition-wise on that, it's very near mint. That's lovely. And then we've got the Bedford. You know, all these are very near mint, I'll be honest with you. That's stunning, that's stunning. The Pickford, as per usual, size in the box. Missing the end flaps on it. But it's there, model is nice. That's absolutely nice as well, a little um, cat. The Gabriel Model T, absolutely pristine. I got someone asking me about these, so I've uh, I've dug one out just so they can have a little look at it. It will be on the eBay store. Um, it's got the inner packaging, it's absolutely pristine. Look how crisp that is. You now it's a lot more dinky and corgi gonna be coming out in coming weeks because I've been concentrating on the battery. I've let it slip a little bit. Got the London Rootmaster bus. That's an interesting little thing, this. It's coming in that box there, obviously to protect it. It's got the red hubs on it. Now, I can't quite tell if someone's just painted them. Or, you know what I mean? Or some sort of thing. Because it's not just an outspan bus. I know there's no different versions, etc. But I think it's had some detail in Yeah, it's had some detail in it. It's the first time I've looked in that in a long time. But that's there. Little push and go. That's nice as well, 1910 Studebaker. You know, it's not expensive, but it's cool, you know, it's got a nice little look about it. That's there, years as well. Got loads of like 90s, mid 90s to early 2000s uh, Kogi Classics, Kogi Heritage stuff of this era. I'll just pan you over here. Been digging some stuff out just to put a couple of cheaper bits on the shop. Got some James Bond things here. All absolutely mint, just look at those, bit dusty. But they're all pristine, brand new in the box, never been out. So I've got full sets of these here, so I'm just going to put them on dribs and drabs as they go. Loads of 118s as well, I was just one to come across. It's had that years. Same as these. You know, they're all brand new, never been opened. And let's get back to this. Here is a very, very nice bag. You might be looking at it and thinking, well, what's in there? Some of you will know, some of you won't. But what's in here is all original paperwork. Now, I've got bags and bags and bags of this stuff. Used to sell a lot of it. Sort of like kept it aside to put in models when they came in but you've got leaflets in here absolutely mint original batmobile leaflet there's a sam's car leaflet in there. there's corgi paperwork dinky paperwork doesn't look a lot but there's quite a lot in there there's about 20 odd items in there believe it or not all pristine they are not to be missed because if you've got the model and the box i haven't got the paperwork you're adding value and i know it's a piece of paper but a lot of these would be 20 30 quid each and they'll sell pretty much instantly atomic rocket now some of you might know about the massive full-size version of this previously but this one is lovely. Only the base of the box, but nonetheless it's there. Fully working, including lights. Runs lovely, as sweet as a nut. Then we've got the side dump down by there. It's a nice bit as well. More bit of Corgi. Got the Carrier Bantam, original box. And just look at the condition on that. 
that's not bad at all, is it? That's, I'd put that in the near mint category. Odd little chip here and there, mainly to the base. Body wise, lovely. Look at these robots. Absolutely stunning, fully working as well. Now the astronaut one, he's quite a rare one. That's quite an expensive robot. You know, that comes out firing, spins around, starts walking, etc. Both of those fully working, rare. Original boxes as well, rare. That's your word, rare. <laughs> I don't think they'll be on eBay very long, I'll be honest with you. As soon as they go, they're probably gonna sell. Now the Aero Sport Gun, that's fully working. Flies those pretty high as well. These two perfect, that one's got a slight bit of damage in the corner there, which could be glued, but I'll keep it, you know, original, that's the way I like to do it. We'll fly up to 30 feet. There's no safety standards back in them days, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, have your eye out if you want to. And we've got Mickey here, which is fully working. Sorry, that's not part of it. <laughs> I was just there, a little chicken, it does work as well. But um, yeah, Mickey's fully working. He goes back four, back four on that, moves around like a bump and go sort of thing, which is quite cool. Then we've got a little clockwork robot. Again, he sort of like pecks down on himself when you wind him up, if you know what I mean. Fully working, another little robot. When you wind him as well, sparks come shooting out of there, which is quite cool. It's keeping up with our robot theme, you know? Japan, that Tonka is incredible, isn't it? So nice as well, to find that window not broken because that would be the first thing to go on it. Lovely condition. And then we've got two robots for restoration. You might recognize this one from last week. We sold a lovely loose one and a mint box one of those last week. He's back out. And Mr. Chief has come out as well. Now he could be primed for restoration, but I think he just looks great like that. You know, that patina look on him. He's got quite a few parts as well. I've seen someone selling 45 quid just for this head part up there. So what's that gonna be, 75 quid? I think that's a fair price all day long. But there we go, that's another video. All of this is for sale. Literally, link in the description to Jordan's Vintage World. If not, Google it and it'll take you there. Um, on Instagram, on Facebook, keep up to date with all the stuff. Make sure you sub up and you can see when all this stuff is coming. Because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff coming over the next weeks and months. I think that's about the end of the video, guys. Take it easy, stay safe, happy shopping, happy viewing. Take it easy now, ta-da.